One of the most common challenges for first-time Revit users is understanding how to see the appropriate items in the LinkedIn Revit model. The answer really lies in two separate areas. One is the discipline, and the other is visibility graphics. As we can see on our screen, right now we've linked in an architectural model, and we're really missing a lot of things, such as some of the interior walls, and uh, really any of the st structural information that maybe the architect would have placed into this model. The reasoning behind this is twofold. And the first one is the structural information is being told to be shut off because the discipline is currently showing up as being structural as opposed to architectural. And since this is an architectural model, a lot of that information is off. Now, if we look over here on the left-hand side, underneath properties here, come about, I don't know, about a third of the way down, there's an option here for structural right next to discipline. If instead of doing structural, we said, all right, we wanted this to be architectural and just kind of move our mouse over in here, we can start to see a lot of the architectural objects start to jump out on the screen. The only bad part about this is, is if we leave it as being architectural, then some of our structural information that we want to add into this might not show up when it comes time to draw it. So in order to be able to work in this kind of environment where one thing wants to be on versus another thing wanting to be on, They've incorporated in here underneath discipline, the option for coordination. And if coordination is turned on, it means the mechanical, the structural, the architectural will have the ability to see all of them on theoretically simultaneously. So if we would come down here to coordination and then sort of move the mouse over, a few more of our objects have now showed up here on the screen, some of the stuff that we had added in. Now we're still missing a few things such as some of these interior walls but quite a few of these objects are now available to us inside of our view. The reason why we can't see some of the interior walls lies in really the thing that's probably the most challenging part for people that are first learning Revit, and that's gonna be the visibility graphics. But we can greatly simplify this process by just doing these few simple steps. First off, let's get to the visibility graphics. And you can do that by either typing in VV twice on the keyboard for visibility, visibility, or just select on the edit button. Next. One of the things that beginners have the tendency to make mistakes on is they'll look down the list here and assume that the reason why they can't see their objects is because it isn't turned on in this location. Well, usually that is the case, but that only applies to the stuff that you've done in your model personally. It does not necessarily affect the stuff that you've brought in and linked in to your Revit project. The stuff that you've linked in to your Revit project is going to show up on another tab, and that's going to be the Revit Links tab up here underneath Visibility Graphics. The next thing you'll need to do in order to be able to make any sort of changes to this is going to click Buy Host View right here. I will point out as well that there is an option here for halftone. So if you wanted all of this project to look sort of like a grayscale, look lighter, so that your work stands out and their work looks great, you could check halftone right here and it would automatically apply a halftone to all this line so that it was much lighter and uh, would just sort of fade into the background. Go ahead and click on the buy host view though. Right now there isn't much that we can do. If we would click on these other tabs, they're all gonna show up as being basically grayed out. And the reasoning behind that is, is that by host view right here is currently has this little dot in its box. What by host view means is that it's going to take on the properties that this view just had by default. So your settings. Another thing that we could do is we could do it by the linked view, which will take on the settings and properties, visibility settings of the project that you linked in. So whatever that was the current settings inside of the architect's drawing, those would be the visibility settings that would show up inside of this view. Now, the one that you will probably want to use most often isn't either one of these. It's going to actually be custom right here. Whenever you click on custom, you can make changes to any of these things that happen to be just the default settings right now. I know that I've come in here and I've changed such things as view range, which tells Revit how deep you want to be able to look into the view. Do you want to look 100 feet down or do you want to look just two feet down? view filters, and a variety of other things. But the thing that you'll probably want to be able to change most is going to be able to turn on those architectural walls that we brought into the project. And we can't really do that from this menu. We need to come up to the Model Categories button right here, or the tab right there. Once you select it on that tab, the next thing that we can do is we can come down here to where it says Filter List, and we can choose which items we want to be able to see on the list. So if we didn't want to see their structural information, we could clear that out. 
If we didn't want to see their architectural information, we could clear the architectural information button out right there. In this particular case, I want to go ahead and come over here and make sure that both structural and architectural is on at the same time. And the reason why I want to be able to do that is so I can kind of compare them and see what their information is. Next, instead of by host view, we're going to change this to say custom. And the moment that we click custom, we now have the ability to go in and then put little checks next to each of these. And I'm going to look down on the list, decide which items it is that I want to be able to turn on. And that could be anything from topography, which happens to be the site related to this building, or including those things which are walls. And we can see that the walls are currently turned on so that we'll be able to see some of those interior walls suddenly show up for us. But now that this custom has been checked and we know that walls is on, let's go ahead and click on OK and OK. And we can start to see some of these objects are starting to appear back in our scene again. Let's once again go in the visibility graphics one more time and let's try to turn on just a few more things and make sure that uh, everything's going to be on that we want to have on. So to do that, you can just go to the VV, go to Revit links, select on custom, come back in again to the, your model categories. And in this case, I just want to make sure that everything's on that we want to be able to see. And I'm thinking that maybe some curtain walls were on, which is the reason why we didn't see everything immediately turn on. And we're just going to come down here to the word all, and we're going to select all and put a check mark in just one of these blank boxes. Now, everything that's architectural should be on for us. And we can click on OK and click on OK. And now we can see all those interior walls. We can see the site. We can see everything inside of our view. And the key to this being is that whenever we go into our visibility graphics, this is all view specific. So it's only turning it on inside of this view. If we wanted to be able to see it in every view, we'd have to go into each view and turn on our settings and be able to see the specific things that we want to be able to see from that architectural model. So the key to adjusting the visibility of a LinkedIn model is remembering two things. First is what is the discipline of the model you're linking in? And second, did you turn on and off the proper elements in the visibility graphics? Once you have a solid understanding of those areas, you'll have a fairly easy time of getting these models to display appropriately.